37. Amazing, but not doing too well. So we'll want to pray for him, as well as someone asked me to pray for Nicole Spencer. Barbara, I see Phoenix isn't here today, but we want to pray for her and her family. Yeah. Sharon? So it's Nicole, well, we know John, my daughter. Oh, so Spencer's okay. her son. <laughs> and he doesn't, well, it's nice to pray for him. He does, yeah, there's nothing wrong with him. Okay. She's the one who was so we're pregnant okay. with a broken ankle. Yeah. Let me put. How are you all doing with that? Good. <laughs> <laughs> your mouth's just good, your face is. <laughs> well, it's a right too for a healthy pregnancy. Good. Bottom That's line. Good. Yeah, bottom yeah. line, you're right, it's good. <laughs> Any other prayer requests? All right, please join me in prayer. Great and gracious God, you are always more ready to listen to us than we are to come to you in prayer, and you have promised to hear our prayers. We pray for this church and its people, especially for all the folks listed in our bulletin, for Gordon and Nicole, for all kinds of people who are suffering, like Phoenix and her family, for folks in distress, in depression and fear, Lord, we ask your special blessing on Pastor Ken and Maria. We ask your presence with each person here today. And we know you're with us as well as with all those who are watching us online and the folks who can't be here online or in person. Great and gracious God, remind each and every one of us as your love, your love and your care. God, we pray for our community, for all the folks who are starting to get ready to go back to school, not just in the Marble Newtown district, but in the area and the nation. Keep the children and the teachers safe. Give them a will to learn and help them to know of your presence and your care. God, we pray for our country us to discover a way that we live together to support and appreciate one, one another and our differences and to uplift the least of our sisters and brothers so that they may have opportunities for work and leisure and wholeness gracious god we also pray for our world a world of famine and warfare and injustice God, we would pray that all those things would come to an end. But if we pray that with our mouths, we need to act that out with our hearts and hands. So instill in each one of us a desire to work to make the world a better place. Help us not to lose sight of your vision for love and justice around the world. Eternal God, you are indeed an awesome God, a God whose love never fails and never ends, not in this world and the one to come. So in the silence of these moments, <coughs> we lift up to you people for whom we have a special care, a special feeling in our hearts. together the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. forever. Amen. Amen. I watched with joy as many of you put offerings into the offering plate. 
thank you for your continued generosity to this church and to God. It's what keeps the lights on and the fans moving and uh, rent and pay, right? So that's important. Thank you for that, but thank you as well for all that you give so that this church can reach out and serve and help others in need, not just in this community, but around the world. Please join me in prayer. God, we give you thanks for your generosity to us, and you have indeed given to us bountifully. We ask that you would fill our hearts with the knowledge of your love, so that we too may be joyous and bountiful givers, just as you are to us. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our next hymn is Dear Lord, Remember Me. Please stand.